Hi everyone, Dolan Wolf here. Uh, welcome back for some more EVE Online. And in today's video, we are finally going to take a look at that implant set. Because normally, if I go for my personal jobs, let's go here. We have a mid-grade Mimesis Omega blueprint that is ready to be delivered. Um, so that is the final one for the full mid-grade set. It took me a little bit of grinding to get the necessary LP. It was actually 7,500 LP for this blueprint copy. But uh, yeah, we uh, accidentally bumped into some other people doing conduits. Took uh, advantage of uh, the extra LP that we could get that way. And so it was actually definitely doable as well uh, so first of all of course we're not gonna do this in our current clone because at the moment i am in a clone that has implants in it i'll, I'll maybe show it to you guys as well uh, so it's uh, like plus three if i'm not mistaken uh, on um, on my attributes and then here a uh, little bit of speed shield management right definitely good for uh, the rattlesnake for the gila and then i also have the rapid launch uh, uh, implant here that uh, helps with uh, like rapid missile launchers and then some uh, gnome shield operations as well so it's got a little bit of um, of capacitor management not that good for the rattlesnake but overall yeah, this is like a basic set that i think helps very well for those best pve ships and so i need to get to a fresh clone which is ready in ssama so let's uh, get out of here leave ship like that and then let's look for my jump clones and we have one with no implants ready in ssama so let's jump to it this will require a payment of zero isk. Good. And in here, I have a ship ready. Here is my Leshak. Actually, a gift from one of uh, one of the viewers. And I have also made a fit here that I think can handle uh, the emerging countries. The problem is I don't know how good these entropic disintegrators are going to work on a target that's like six, six kilometers away. So this one has, uh, I'm actually also going to um, copy this one to clipboard because I haven't done that yet. Um, cap stable, resistances 80 for thermal, 76 for kinetic, 85 for explosive. That's better than the Vindicator and it turns out uh, on this Lechak I actually uh, invested in a B-type large armor repair, repair when I first got it so that should be a decent amount of wrapping as well. Uh, and I'm, I'm going again with the grappler and then with the webby fire and this is just for more caps. So no um, no movement modules on this one, uh, but if I press undock, um, yeah, 885 DPS right now in a fresh clone. That is, if I think, pretty impressive already. So we're gonna go off to Detal. And on the drones front, we of course, I took four Republic Fleet Berserkers. Just the better tracking, they do seem to work the most consistently, although sometimes the Ogre 2s can so quickly take care of some of these small targets that it can be uh, competitive but yeah just more consistent I think with the um, with the better tracking uh, we get an option for f uh, ooh, and I only have four Republic Fleet Warriors why the hell is that well I still have room to uh, play with that but I think we're basically gonna try what we've always been doing uh, which is um, as many large drones as possible so off we go to detail because I am curious what the impact of my implant set is going to be on uh, this damage of course 187 dps from the uh, extra drones but the big thing of course is that my one uh, su supratridal entropic disintegrator has a total of 700 dps already that's pretty amazing and then we're gonna try to buff that with the implant um, on this warp you can tell one di big disadvantage for the Lashak is it is very very slow um, it is massive it's bulky it looks really cool but it is pretty damn slow so we're landing at the gate um, i should also put this in the right order so this is a one no actually first the grappler because that one has a longer range then the web and then of course the disintegrator preferably on a slow down target then i need to go to the manufacturing right through where i am now ready to deliver can i do that from here deliver mid-grade there we go 
that's good to go. Uh, 8 hours for this and then my other BPCs. Another 20 hours for the blueprints for the Orcas. So that's going to be another run for me to do tomorrow. And get that is going. And then maybe I'll take a quick look at my wallet state at the moment as well. Yeah, back to 2.5 uh, billion in expenses. 2 billion in income. Um... Where the hell did those extra expenses come from? I think I bought some more fuel again. It, it is an expensive endeavor to keep everything fueled. But um, yeah, it's still running very easily on donations. Some people say, why don't you tax stuff? Well, I really want to give those donations back basically through the fuels so that uh, everyone that uses the coin incorporated facilities has the best time possible there. And now here we go. Uh, in this item hanger, I've got a full Mimesis implant set. It's only mid-grade. There's a high grade at this point as well, uh, but that should help. And then I also went with like a, a hull upgrade. What did that one do exactly? Um, armor hit points should be helpful. Uh, repair efficiency, even more repairing per, per cycle. All of them 3%. Not too expensive, but at the 3% it should help. Capacitor uh, as well and then this one was some extra agility that's really all I found for that slot so let's uh, plug him in plug in you can do that now without having to pause that's pretty good next one next one this guy is being upgraded for triglavian ships I love that and here come the mimesis implants these are this one is worth 50 million 67 million it is becoming an, an expensive implant 100 million <laughs> for this one as well and then here another 100 million yeah this is becoming a pretty expensive clone i don't want to um to lose that one but there we go full me uh, implant set is engaged if i go for the fitting that only went up no that didn't go up even hmm Let's see exactly how these work then. They should help. Augmentations. Primary effect perception. One point bonus to maximum damage output of the... Oh, okay, so it's the maximum that goes up. The damage multiplier increase per cycle of Entropic. So it goes up faster, I think. Uh, twin, the strength of all Mimesis implants. Secondary effect. And then we get the next one here yeah it's always the the maximum damage output so so we're gonna have to keep an eye on um another 2.25 this is this is gonna be interesting um i'm hoping basically that this 885 dps will be uh, at the start and that we'll see that go up then god damn it the neighbors are, are moving furniture around um so that this turret dps goes up and do i see that here as well DPS, let's see. Uh, yeah, there you go. Damage per second is at 698.6. So I'll be able to keep an eye on it. Um, especially on the cruiser, I think it's going to be helpful um, as uh, as the cycles keep going. That's one thing that I hadn't thought of, actually. Uh, is that we need that ramp up time to, to get the real damage of the Lashak going, of course. And it's lots of small targets, so maybe we won't really have that. Uh, optimal range 21 kilometers and the um, I think my um, uh, let's see here if I can go to the fitting uh, my fall off I think is the same doesn't even show it all right let's go there should be a conduit in here there is 11 people who that's that's actually a decent amount let's hope that no one else is running them or that someone is running them so i can have a, a safe first test because this is now the first time that i'm taking this lechac into the emerging conduit so let's see if this triglavian clone oh it should also then probably like ramp up really quickly with all those bonuses um and with the full set it's gonna be interesting. Let's see how this works out. Uh, we're, oh, I don't even have a mobile tractor unit. Damn it, I keep making mistakes <laughs> at the moment. But all right, for our first test, uh, we'll, we'll try to manage without. Here it is. Uh, still gonna use the same tactic, actually. All, and then we go up to a 158-ish. That looks like a good one. Warp within 70. 
combat is ready incoming transmission there it comes and now we're gonna use their own weapon against them triglavian versus triglavian let's see how they like that we are in warp we're landing right next to the abyssal entrance and let's get targeting Ooh, that's yeah that's very slow honestly the rattlesnake does target these guys a lot more quickly uh, incoming damage is quite high on the shields and then i kind of all right one two three berserkers on that as well and we'll we'll need to rep very quickly let's see what kind of how we do against the um Fleet Berserkers full misses, but ooh, 2,000 damage <laughs> from my uh, Entropic Disintegrator. That not, that's not so bad. And now let's do a little bit of repping here. Very slow cycle as well, but it should be pretty damn massive. Um, disintegrator misses. Then it hits for a 1,000. All right, this is the real test, of course. What can we do against this small stuff? So we're gonna try and capture it. Oh, and I should keep an eye on the damage here as well. 731. No hits, unfortunately. Oh, there it is. 2,000. <laughs> Half armor in a single volley when it does hit. And then we get, I think, another miss again. Yeah, and then the second one that hits was enough. Okay, let's slow this one down and just a little bit. Oh, and they're going after my drones. Return to drone bay. Go, go, go. Oh, he's webbed as well. It's gonna be annoying. Oh, they made it. Okay, next one. Let's uh, see if we can take that tangling one out. Uh, one, two, three. Just with the disintegrators. How does that work? Uh, don't overuse the cap either. We get a starving on this. And let's maybe add the, the small drones. It's only four of them. But that should be quite a bit more consistent in the hits. Because you can see that the disintegrator, when it hits, it's massive. A thousand damage. But there's a lot of misses in here as well. I wonder how I could fix that. And then the small drones, oof, those are really tiny hits here. So that DPS now is going up to 925. Starving is next. One, two, three. And the strong resistances. I mean, this I, I do feel kind of comfortable here. Uh, that is pretty cool. But yeah, my disintegrator needs to apply and it's not having an easy time of it. Interesting. Hit, hit, hit. So it misses again. This guy is completely webbed. You should be able to do that. He's not going anywhere. Miss again. Okay. There it goes. 1500. Oh, yeah, two thirds of its armor gone. I was not even that good a hit. 960 though, 992 and then finally it hits and he goes down. Okay, next. So he is definitely hitting me. I'm trying to, there we go, that was actually a hit as well. 764. And down it goes. Alright, five small ones for our next challenge. Um, harrowing, ghosting, starving uh, so tracking disruption is definitely what I need to take care of first which is the ghosting, which is this one so let's see if we can do that uh, then this is target painting, not to worry about that um, and then guidance disruption that's anti-missile so I think that that's kind of okay as well after this I think I want to take care of the starving because um we need to be able to rep, of course, keep the cap up. And then we need to wait for another disintegrator hit, which doesn't happen very consistently. Okay, next up we've got a starving. Did they just switch to my drones or not? Here we go. Ah, and there's a rattlesnake <laughs> coming in. He can stick around, of course, if he wants to. Let's see how we handle this I think I'm gonna save a little bit of cap and yeah it's just not that good the application I need to fix that basically I feel very strong and safe um, this does feel like a really nice let's go after the regular one next one two three 
and a hit. Look at that, 1600 on the first hit. That's not bad. If we can then get like a full, uh, full DPS hit, uh, should be good. But it's not. It's not ideal. Okay, next one, harrowing Rasnaborg. One, two, three. The increase is pretty big though, right? 700, 731, next cycle, 764 even. So that actually uh, accelerates 7, 800 DPS at this point. And he goes down on a 800 DPS shot. Next one, um, gonna recall my drones. Let's see if I can actually just do a tree gonna try and save just a touch of cap on this cycle because we are right uh, before the the final wave and that's of course where i do need to take care of the cruiser first uh, and i'll want my big drones to um to handle that so here we go as this one goes down i'll activate my wrapper because we will need to be wrapping all the time here it is destroyers next um, I'm gonna launch my drones and then it's just catch it, catch it. I don't think my uh, F123 won't be able to use the web, of course. Then we'll use that on you. Here we go. And now 684. Come on, keep hitting now. So that's three hits there. It misses, it misses the Vetmac at 15. It should be right on its optimal. And it actually misses 862. That's a better hit. 1600, almost out of armor. I, I'm being damaged severely, but uh, when my disintegrator hits another 1600, up to 960 DPS and he's down already. Okay, not bad. Let's do a one, let's do a three. Let's grab the rest of these guys and on these destroyers. That was a good hit. Next one, good hit and good. Next one, just trying to lower the incoming DPS a little bit. And then there's two starvings here. I'm gonna need to take care of those as well. This is actually a lot of DPS, right? With all of these destroyers, that is significant. Um, the cap is a worry, but my tank is holding decently well, I would say. That one's down. Next one, two. And disintegrator. There we go. And the rattlesnake left. Ah, he could have gotten some extra loyalty points out of it, but all right. So now we're missing again. At least my, my drones are doing good, well as well. Okay, harrowing. One, two, three is harrowing. Well, it, there's only like webbing. Uh, cap over half so I think we'll, we can take care of the large targets first here finally a hit it is I, I do like the fact that uh, when we do oh damn it lost one drone not good they're back it, it's fast and yeah of course I, I did I hadn't thought about that uh, another big difference of course in the rattlesnake my drones are way tankier than this and so we've got a lot more time to um, to react to them being attacked uh, that's something that I hadn't thought about it's it's more risky okay well there we go uh, another lesson learned at this point we can stop the wrapping which is Definitely strong enough for the rest of this DPS. So it can handle the site, but when it hits like a couple times <laughs> in a row, it does, uh, I think, uh, destroy these ships more quickly than, um, than uh, the Rattlesnake. Um, you know, Vindicator level damage, but the application is just not what it should be uh, just yet. So they're again switching to my drones. Which might be better for my Entropic Disintegrator because I think it's more likely to hit 1500 just like that. That's not bad. Chewing straight through. Um, all of that armor. So look at that. Another 1000. When it hits it's big. Very big. But it's just not consistent enough uh, for my personal taste. The tank is impressive. 
Uh, the tank's actually really good. The tank held up very well. Uh, but uh, let, to be honest, yeah, I, I need to solve that application uh, problem. If anyone has any tips on that, definitely feel free to put it in the comments. The DPS is amazing, of course, against larger targets. If you have uh, like PvE content where you're up against battleships for missions, for instance, level 4 missions, I think this is going to be uh, a pretty amazing uh, ship potentially especially with the full implant set like this uh, for the conduits um, no I feel like it is not as good as the rattlesnake uh, we, we saw the disadvantages uh, not such a good application and then the second problem is that you can lose drones far more quickly because they are not buffed up in HP uh, on the Lashak. It's an amazing looking ship. It's an amazing PvE platform potentially as well. But I still feel, unfortunately, despite my investments in a full Mimesis mid-grade implant set, that it is not as good a conduit runner as the rattlesnake. Still, I had to give it a go since I was working on all of that LP. I'm going to loot. It's There's only one bit of loot here anyways, apparently. Oh no, there's some more here as well. I'm going to loot and salvage the site in an inefficient way. Uh, but uh, there you go, guys. That's it for this video. Uh, I might try the battle cruiser. I think people said that the battle cruiser is very efficient for these as well. That could be interesting. But then I'm a bit worried about the um, about the tank on the battle cruiser because uh, you saw that the final wave can be very, very high in DPS as well. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And as always... I'll see you next time.